Hi, this is Bob from Matsar, Boston, Massachusetts. It is Sunday morning, August 31st, 2014. This is the last day of the 13th week on the Walt Diet. This is a video, part of a series I do, <coughs> excuse me, every week where the first part I do a short reading to assess how my speaking is going over time. And the second is where I talk about the events of last week. So we, our first part is coming up here to the reading. You know, there is never a fee or eligibility requirement. One call is all it takes. Staff are available during all business hours, Monday to Friday. After hours appointments are available as needed. All service link staff conversations are confidential. Okay, so that was my reading. So part two is where I talk about what happened last week. And a lot of things actually happened. The first thing is, uh, I went to the allergist on Thursday. Um, let me give you the, uh, the context was, on, Jan on July 30th, I had the first symptoms where I had fatigue and a headache after eating coconut milk or berries or hemp seed. And in fact, after more experimentation, most foods cause some kind of headache. So I went on this FODMAP diet for three weeks and I got worse. It was basically a stripped down version of what I thought was a Walt diet. It actually made me worse. My legs got weaker. My hands got shakier. So I went to my doctor and he sent me to the allergist. Anyway, I went to the allergist on Thursday and he doesn't think I have an allergy. And the reason is he gave me three reasons. Number one, I have no history of it. It would be very unusual to develop an allergy at my age. Number two, allergies are not dependent upon dose. For example, I reported to him that the more I ate of certain foods, the worse the headache would become. And he said that's not an allergy kind of thing to happen. And the third thing was that multiple foods were causing it. It wasn't just uh, hemp seed or coconut milk or berries. The fact that multiple things were doing that to me, he didn't think this was an allergy. He thought this, I was just having some kind of chemical uh, reaction to those foods. The good news was he said it wasn't dangerous. So. I took from that that I, I have two choices. Stay on the FODMAP diet, which I know is a bad idea because I'm getting weaker on it. Or just manage my headaches a little better by maybe eating less broccoli, eating less green pepper, maybe avoiding some foods and so forth. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I also, I did ask him about the, I have this theory that I was on six rounds of antibiotics since May 30th. And I asked him about that. Could that possibly be doing this? Because I haven't had headaches in the past. This is like a bolt out of the blue, right? And so he's that it's possible, but there just hasn't been enough research for him to go out and say that that's the cause. So what I'm going to do is continue on this probiotics that I'm taking, and hopefully um, this will resolve itself. So that's 
that's what happened with the elders. Um, the second thing is that I, did, I am starting, <coughs> excuse me, to add back foods that I hadn't been eating. And like I'm eating half a bell pepper, I'm planning to have just a half of the broccoli I was eating and see how that goes. So I've already started with green and yellow peppers, kale, and broccoli and uh it does cause headaches but it you know by limiting portions i can handle it um, the second thing i wanted to talk about was i read this book by uh his name is jimmy moore and eric westerman md the book is named keto clarity it's about the ketogenic diet, which I th Dr. Walls actually has a chapter on this in her book, and I decided to go to the ketogenic diet. Two reasons: it's it's her highest diet in that it promotes the most brain health, and. Uh, and it's also very uh, good to eat. I mean, I'm not hungry on it. So uh, I'm going to try that and see if I do better. The book is a mind-blowing book. You should, if you're interested in nutrition, especially if you have MS, read the book. It, it, he stands everything on his head. Everything you thought you knew about nutrition, for example, he says red meat is okay. It isn't the fats that are a problem. It's the fats plus high carb plus sugar. And that's what gets into trouble. So basically this diet is a low carb, moderate protein, high fat diet. And so I'm going to try that. And I've already started this week by adding coconut oil to my smoothies, which is a win-win because with the coconut oil, I don't have to add fruit, so I can tolerate the, the green smoothie okay, and I don't need anything to sweeten it. So that's a good thing, and uh, there's a lot of other steps that I'm going to take, but the idea is to get into to uh, what they call ketosis. And that is where your body burns fat instead of sugar. And that's a, pro a problem with MS is that glucose leads you to need insulin, which is inflammatory. So, uh, for any, I could go on and on, and there's a lot more in the book that he explains much better. And Dr. Waltz, too, does. Um, so I'm going to do that. And the third thing I want to mention is that uh, a couple of videos ago, I mentioned Dr. Waltz's website and a woman named Paleo Boss Lady. That's her moniker on YouTube and on the Internet. Her real name is V. Capaldi. You can see her success story on Dr. Wall's website. Anyway, I emailed her about, I was interested in how long it took her to achieve these excellent results that she had. And she told, she emailed me back. And in that, she told me about Facebook. And there are two groups that I joined. One is called Dr. Wall's Protocol Diet, and the other is called Wall's Paleo Plus Support. If you have MS, and you really should be part of these groups, it's amazing. The information I've already learned in the first week, some of it is soft, kind of commiserating stuff, but there's also a lot of hard information. For example, somebody posted that um, if you take too many antibiotics, 
you can cause problems in your uh, in your stomach, and I, that's what's not an answer to any question I pose. This is just an actual. Uh, this is just a post. And so that spoke to me. That's exactly what I think I'm going through. So and that and I, there are a few other things I learned about new recipes I can try, new seaweed I can use to put in my smoothies, which I'm going to do, which I purchased on Amazon. Um, so, you know, it's really, uh, Mark Zuckerberg is a genius. I've come around, uh, do, you know, it really is helpful to see how other people are dealing with this. One of the groups has 1,500 members. So, and they've been, some of these people have been on the side a long time. So I really stress that, you, you know, you're doing yourself a disservice. By, especially if you have MS and you're trying to go on this diet, by not joining these groups and seeing how other people are dealing with it and getting their ideas. So anyway, that's it. Uh, what happened this week? My condition has been sort of stable. Uh, I guess my mindset is a little bit more peaceful since I went to the allergist. He told me that nothing appears dangerous, at least. So I'm just going to go on and deal with the headache. Hopefully the probiotic treatment will work. And, uh, well, that reminds me, in the article, which I read on the Facebook group, uh, there was a nurse who specialized in nutrition, and she gave me, she gave the world probiotics to take and she said take them for about two months so I have a definite plan that I can going to follow I did buy them from Amazon they're gonna come next week and so uh, things are looking up hopefully we'll get rid of these headaches and get back on the diet at full strength anyway I'll be back next week with the, to go over what happened tomorrow will be the first day of week 14. Uh, that's it, and bye-bye. Hi there.